Welcome back friends, I'm Juliet and today is Thursday and this is our third week of the self-love yoga practice. I prepared for you a quote today, it's not just this thinking but it's doing. So it sounds like that, eat like you love yourself, speak like you love yourself, move like you love yourself and act like you love yourself. Love yourself guys. Let's think about it. You have to live, to breathe, to move, just like you love yourself and love yourself for real. So it sounds, eat like you love yourself, speak like you love, love yourself, move like you love yourself and act through the day like you love yourself. Just simply guys, love yourself. Let's, let's keep in mind and do this practice. Today I prepared for you the power practice, 10 minutes practice for the legs. So let's begin in our tabletop. And from there, we're gonna go for our downward facing dog and lunges. So let's begin by lifting the chest up and down, cat and cow, just a simple, basic beginner flow to wake up the back for it before we can get down to the next. Mm -hmm. And let's go ahead and do a few hip circles here, guys. Because we're gonna go for the lunges and we're gonna hold them today for a little bit longer with loving intention and attitude towards ourselves. And a couple more in this direction. And go ahead and reverse the circles. Go to the other side. Very gentle. Draw the full circles, guys. Try to take the whole circumference and then stop right in the middle. And let's go for the downward facing dog up here. Relax the neck, drop the crown, lengthen and bend your knees for the few times, right and left, left and right. Then reach your right leg up and open, bend your knee and give yourself a few circles. Remember to hold the body weight towards the hips and towards the sit bone. You reverse it one more time. Mm -hmm. Reach up and open and step forward for your low lunge. Guys, the low lunge, front knee above the front ankle. Don't crisscross your knees. Make sure that you're able to relax. If you know it, you have a choice to support yourself with a fist or you also can use the blocks and that's a very effective way to sustain the challenging asanas for longer, guys. So take your time, take a few breaths, let's do a few shoulder rolls so we release the tension from the upper body. We're gonna hold it in about a minute, so take your time. If you need to set your hands on the floor, set your hands on the floor, don't struggle, guys. Close your eyes and let's just dive inside. Take a good breath, inhalation through the nose, exhalation through that nose. Relax the body, let the gravity do the work. Turn your attention inside and within and find the true self again, that loving one, that nurturing one. Take that beautiful attitude towards yourself. And a couple more breaths, guys. Great job. And let's slowly take the hands on the floor, shift your body weight towards the left. So other hip above the knee, tuck your toes and lift your toes on the front leg and fold forward. It doesn't have to be deep, fold forward, just the one which will allow you to lengthen in the back. For some of us, it can be a little bit higher. Some of us can go a little bit lower, working on the hamstring, on the Achilles, making those legs stronger, more flexible. And then after that, guys, we're gonna go for the runner lunge and from runner lunge to basic and in the lunge all on this leg. So if you need to take a break, go to your child pose with love, of course, and then continue and return. Let's return our front foot back, tuck your toes, activate the back leg actively, equally, keep your hips square, Rise up, team. open up, reach up and open, stay strong, activate both legs again, through the nose, thin, 
through the nose south. Keep on breathing, my friends. In and out through that nose. Great job. Let's take it back. And we're going to step back to our plank. Roll your heels side to side, waking up that back for the few times. And then we're going to do push down Chaturanga and make a transfer back to the downward facing dog so we can do the other side. The same flow from the other side. Use your knees on your transitions, definitely. Relax, restore, drop the head. Let your body to lengthen and take your left leg up, guys, or the one you didn't do yet. Bend your knee and roll that hip for the few times. Shift the weight back towards the tailbone and seat bone. Very good. And one more. Oh, very nice. Reach up and open and reverse it to the other direction if you haven't done it yet. Reach and step, guys, to your low lunge. It's going to be a longer hold and sometimes it can be very challenging. Make sure though, guys, you don't crest cross your knees. Keep the front knee above the front ankle up here. Back toes are relaxed. So you can let the gravity do the work. Let's do a couple shoulder rolls to make sure that the upper body is rested so the lower body can be rested as well. Please guys, close your eyes. If you don't want, you don't have to, but it's much easier to relax, to connect, to reconnect, to let go with our eyes closed. So it's a less external distractions. Take your time, guys. Just enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your practice. Enjoy to be alive, to be able to practice, to have the good, healthy, functional body. We gotta be grateful for what we have. We're gonna hold it for a few more breaths, guys. Don't give up, please. I know you can always send the hands on the floor if you have to. Keep on breathing, in through the nose, out through the nose, and let's slowly shift the direction. So we're gonna set left, right hip above the right knee, tuck your toes, and with long extended back, just like we did on the other side. It's a fold forward team through the hip flexor, through the hip flexor. Give it a gentle fold. It doesn't have to be long. Do it with love in good, healthy, nurturing attitude, practicing from the heart, from the self-love. And let's remember our quote again. Let's slowly make the transfer to the runner lunge. Before we're gonna step to the regular and the lunge, activate your both legs. So not just the front leg, but the both legs is supporting the weight equally team. You don't have to be low and you can definitely take your back knee back on the floor if you have to, but try to do it with me. So let's, while we're holding, let's remember our code. Speak like you love yourself, move like you love yourself, right? <sighs> Eat like you love yourself and definitely act every single day, every single minute. Remind yourself like you love yourself and simply, guys, love yourself let's step back to the plank we're gonna roll the heels side to side a few more times up and open Whew. feels so good feels so strong a couple more times and let's through the push-up make a transfer to the up dog or cobra downward facing dog all the way relax restore Drop the crown. Let's do a one quick clust power flow to make sure that the legs stay strong today. Reach up and open. Front arm above the front leg. It's like almost like a warrior one, but in the lunge, reach up and open. Step back all the way to the push up of your choice. And all the way back. You don't have to do the vinyasa. You can just do the knees on the floor and step again forward up and open in that line left above the left leg beautiful stay strong reach up and open step back to your plank cultivating that self-love love towards ourselves because if you won't do it 
no one else will relax restore let the head drop navel in shoulder blades apart and slowly gently let's send our pose knees on the floor let's put our feet crisscross up front let's reach all the way up draw everything you want to draw at this Thursday today in your life for the love all the wonderful things all the house all the commitment all the passion namaste